So your, um, everything will be deleted from the recording, so please feel free to jump in with any questions you have. So let's get started. I'm going to go live to my desktop. Hold on one second. And we'll go directly into Automate. So have either of you ever used Automate before? I know it's new to Discus, um, but it's, it's such a great thing for a lot of different reasons. So the most important thing to remember about Automate is you can't do anything until you select your vehicle. So that's what you have to do first. And so you have to know, we're going to start as an example with a 2007 Jeep. So you have to know exactly what type of car you have. Now, luckily, with this particular car, there's only one engine. But in many cars, there's a choice of engines. So you do have to know which engine um, you have before you can do your search. So it's, this is a very easy to use database, which is one thing I like it. Now, you can go directly down from here and look at things directly from here, or you can do a search. Now, the only thing I do like to point out, um, Motor is actually a British company. So the term, if you search for the term headlight, you'll see no, re no results are retrieved. And you're thinking, wait a second, I know there has to be information on headlights. Well, they're actually, as you can see, headlamp is what it's called in this database. So that's the only thing I always like to point out right from the get-go. Everything else that I have ever looked for has been the exact same. It's just headlight, headlamp. So if you look, and you'll see all the different things, things like diagnostic trouble codes. Now those can also be found over here, or you can just do a search, like I said, through here. And again, parts, procedures, how to change it, here are wiring di diagrams for the headlights. So we'll go back to here and just start over here. So if we say, let's look at the di description and operation of airbags. Here are the diagnostic trouble codes. Because Now you can also look down here for diagnostic trouble codes. Hold on one second. Okay. So these diagnostic trouble codes are actually super helpful because a lot of times you'll be driving your car and you'll say and you'll get the trouble code B15. You have no idea what that means. And you can always say, well, I'll just look in the manual for what it means, unless you're like me and you've lost your manual. <laughs> but it is very nice to be able to just come in here and, and you can also come over to here to look for um, trouble codes and things like that. They're always going to be right here as well with a full listing. This is just particularly with airbags that I'm looking under right now. Okay, so we'll go away from airbags for a minute. Now summer is coming, so you might be having problems with your air conditioning. So you can come under here, and what's nice is that there are all of these diagrams. Now, um, Automate was specifically created to be used on phones, tablets, iPads, things like that, so that you can have it open right next to you when you are looking at this. So it does look a little bit different when you're looking at it on um, your iPad. And this way you can blow it up as big as you want when you're looking at it and you have your phone next to you or your iPad next to you right next to the car. Now first you'll have the written directions right here and then you'll also have the diagrams available. So if you wanted to print out the written directions, you can from right here. So you can print out the written directions as, and um, have it 
the diagrams right next to you. So are there any questions so far? Okay. So again, this is good for things like how to inspect your air conditioner to see if you have a leak. And um, all of these types of things that might be important. And of course, you have your replacement for your battery. So this is always important to know what size battery do I need for my car? You know, before I go to AutoZone or O'Reilly Auto Parts, um, what do I need to do this? And how to replace certain things is always a good thing to know. An example that um, I, um, this is not my car, this is actually a friend's car, and he wanted to um, bleed the brakes. So we went to brake bleed procedures in sequence, and I printed those all out for him, and that's what he did. Now, one of the most important things, speaking of brakes in a Jeep, is we'll come down here where it says technical service bulletins. Now, do you know what technical service bulletins are? They're obviously things put out by the companies, but they also include recalls. Now, this is really, really important because you always want to know what was recalled on your car. Um, a 2010 uh, Honda Pilot, was. Um, t I took it in yesterday and had um, something that was recalled fixed on it for the airbag. But what's nice is, suppose you don't always take your car to the Honda dealer or to the dealership, to the Jeep dealer. Um, this is an example of that. When you come into here and you take your car to just um, John's auto shop and he says, oh yeah, your brakes need to be fixed, blah, blah, blah. And he charges you $350 for it. The nice thing is, you come later and you find out, oh my goodness, that was actually recalled and should have been covered by the dealer. If you then have that receipt from Johnny's Auto Shop, you can send it to the Jeep dealer, um, take it to the Jeep dealer, and they have to give you a refund if you spent money on something that was recalled. So again, I think this can be helpful. Um, or you look it up before you have it taken in, before you take it into the shop to see if it was recalled. Now, most of us get our recall notices in the mail because um, they know that we own the car. But oftentimes, if you bought the car secondhand, that information doesn't always come to you. So this is nice to be able to just come to one place to find out everything on your car that was ever recalled. So that was just an example of that down there. Again, this is meant for do-it-yourself fixers, but it's also meant, it's also really useful for everyone. And I'll show you some other examples that I like, again, the diagnostic trouble codes, being able to come in here and just say, what does this mean? So if you get a B110 code, oh, that must not be a particular code. But if, um, if you do have a code under each car, you can look up those codes. Or you can just say, these are the specific codes if you know what it is. Again, this can be helpful then just saying, this is, zoom in and out to do this. And again, what is the issue? And then you might want to see. So please feel free to chat in any questions if you have them as we're going along. So again, these were under diagnostic trouble codes. There are a couple of other things that are very nice in here. Again, you can do your search if you know exactly what you're looking for. But if you don't, you can come into here how to replace your alternator and the spe specifications that you need. Now, some of the other things that are important, things like fluids. What types of um, things do I need? All of these things, if you like to order your parts online, this is an easy place to come and know exactly what parts you want to order and then you can order them. Now, a couple of other things that I really like in here are the maintenance schedule, maintenance, parts, and labor. Now, maintenance schedule is nice because it's a good place to come if you have, say I have 100,000 miles 
on my car. And every time you take your car into the shop, they say, well, this needs to be done, this needs to be done, this needs to be done. Really, does the air filter really need to be changed every time I bring it in for an oil change? So you can come into here and it tells you exactly what should be done. Now, again, these are according to the Jeep company, what should be done to keep your car in tip-top running shape. But this, I think, can be really helpful. You know, replace if necessary. Brake line inspect, note at every oil change type of thing. But these are the types of things that need to be done on a regular basis. So if your um, mechanic says, oh, this needs to be done, you can come in here and just double check with that. The other thing that I think can be super helpful with this is parts and labor. Now this is really important because you can come into here and say, how much should the parts cost if I need a front suspension? And again, you need to know exactly what you're looking for. And it will tell you how much these parts should cost. Now again, this is usually at a dealer cost, but a lot of times you're, you're thinking to yourself when you take your car into the, into the mechanic, really, that's how much it costs? I can get it cheaper you know, at this place, but this is the average cost it should be costing you. More important to me is the labor because um, oftentimes they might tell you, I'm just going randomly here looking at air conditioning and it's a compressor. And then it tells you how much time it should take. And this again is, is nice to know because you can come in here and say, the mechanic told me it was gonna take four hours to do this. And you can come in here and say, no, it should take 1.4 hours, not four hours. And the nice thing is the skill code you can see right here, requires a person with limited skills. So do they need their top mechanic to be working on this when they charge $150 for their top mechanic? Maybe not. So again, I think this is really helpful for people like me who don't know a lot about cars, just to be able to be, have a conversation with them and talk to them. Again, if, you, if your mechanic says, oh, you need a serpentine belt replacement, you can come in here and say, oh, this is what a serpentine belt does. So yes, this is really wonderful for people who want to do it yourself, but it's also good for people like me just to explain to them what these parts are and what they do. And again, something like tires. Now, um, I was told yesterday I needed two new tires. I never get two new tires. You always get four tires. You never get two at once, you get four. How much you know, what size tires are they? Now, usually if you go to most mechanics, they'll tell you what size they are. But again, if you wanna order them offline, this is a good way to say, what are the, you know, standard sizes that I need? Um, so that if I do want to order them online, I can. And again, what should be the in, uh, pressure that they are inflated to? And here are things like um, diagnosis and testing. So again, here are the codes if you know your tire pressure is low, which always happens in the winter time when it's cold out. I always get the tire pressure um, codes. Very important are the wiring diagrams. And you can come into here and say, what what are the wiring diagrams looking like? And of course, on an iPad or your phone, you can blow these up and look at them um, so it's next to, so you know which, what things need to be replaced. So again, very important. So now let's go to a newer car. So again, if we come to the 2018 BMW, So now we're gonna select this vehicle and you'll see the content isn't available. So like I said, on a brand new car, some of these things won't be available. 
So I just want to make you aware. Now I have a 2017 Subaru Outback. Again, only one engine to choose from. But this information, all the information is in there. It just takes a little while to get in here when it's a brand new car. The other thing I always like to point out, Automate only goes back to 1974. So all those Chilton magazine, all those big Chilton um, paper things, unfortunately you won't be able to get rid of for those classic car collectors. It does only go back to 1974. So I always like to point that out. The other thing I like to point out is up here when I go to menu, is if you ever need help, this help button is very good um, about what's in here. But you can also come over to here to give feedback. Feedback is really important. So if you have feedback and you say, you know what, I need better information or more information, or this information needs to be um, a little more clearly marked, please fill out this feedback form because we do want to know your comments and we want to improve the product as much as we can. It's still a fairly new product, so we do want to make these improvements. So having your feedback is really important. So are there any questions? Okay, I'll just do one more quick thing. Again, if I want to look for information about a, um, Okay, if I want something, I just did a quick search within my car, and again, how, how much should it take to replace a lock cylinder in labor, and it will tell you right there. So there are a couple of ways, like I said, we can either just do a quick search this way, or go down to parts and labor and find the parts that way. So that, that's really Automate in a nutshell. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I am going to stop the recording now. Hold on one second.